Listen, do I love a little bougie excursion, a little treat yourself day? Absolutely I do. I am always down for a treat, but my favorite number always has been and always will be free. We love a freebie! What's up you guys? If you don't know me, my name is Liz. I am a postgrad student at the University of Glasgow. And today I am taking you with me to explore one of Glasgow's many free cultural heritage institutions. But I'm making coffee first! So for anyone who doesn't know, anyone who's unfamiliar, there is an organization called Glasgow Life that basically just operates all of the libraries and museums here in Glasgow. Because everything is operated under this one umbrella organization, they are able to offer access to all of these institutions completely free of charge, which is so fantastic um, coming from an accessibility standpoint. I'm an archival studies student, so that's a big deal for me, but also just fantastic for accessibility. Also great if you're on a student budget and you want to go to museums and you don't have the means to pay for a museum. Today's excursion is to the Gallery of Modern Art, otherwise known as the GOMA. I'm very excited, it's my first trip, and uh, I'm taking you with me. We're gonna go, we're gonna meet some of my course mates, and we're gonna have a great day. Come on, you're, you're coming, you're coming with. That felt like a children's TV show, that whole little, come on, let's go. God, what am I, Elmo? Actually, Elmo's pretty stinking cool, so. I'll take that comparison. So the first and probably most iconic piece of artwork that you'll encounter at the GOMA actually sits just outside the museum and it is this orange traffic cone. Not the statue of the Duke of Wellington, not the cast podium that he stands on, it's the cone on his head that is the artwork. Um, it's actually a really nuanced piece of art, it's inspired, it's modern, you're probably just not edgy enough to get it. Really encapsulates the spirit of Glasgow. That's not a joke, that's entirely genuine. Ask any Glaswegian person, they will tell you. The Duke's gotta have a cone on his head. I love it here. <laughs> the Goma first opened in 1996, so shout out to my fellow 96ers, but the building itself was actually first constructed in 1778. It's been a townhouse, the home of the Royal Exchange, and from 1954 to 1996 it was the site of the Sterling's Library. The Goma has four galleries, a library, and a shop, and it's completely free entry, like I said before. It is Scotland's most visited art gallery, and it absolutely has earned that status. They switch up their displays and exhibits as well, which means there's always a reason to go back and see something new. It's honestly such a perfect rainy day activity, and when you're in Glasgow, you certainly won't be at a loss for rainy days. They feature works by local and international artists, works held in the city's own collections, and they also do temporary and touring exhibits as well. Um, but no, they are not responsible for the cone on the Duke's head. That is entirely just... Glaswegians. I am so glad that I took the time to visit the Gallery of Modern Art today. I feel like I've come to a point of complacency in my life where I just kind of take for granted the fact that there are so many cultural heritage institutions around me, so many museums, so many things to see, and I don't actually take advantage of the fact that they're there, so trying not to miss out on any of that anymore, and the Goma is definitely a place I wish I had gone sooner, but will definitely be going back to. It's not gonna be a full day excursion, um, it's not quite as big as the Kelvin Grove, so you don't really need a full day to visit the Goma, but if you've got a day off or like a free Saturday or something and you want to take it easy in the morning, meet some friends for lunch, and then go and explore the gallery um, in the afternoon. That is totally doable. You don't need a whole day to see the Goma. And I am just so, so glad that I went, and I hope I've inspired you to go now as well. So do take advantage of the cultural heritage sites around Glasgow, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!